Hey, Jack. Jack it, potato. I'm one hot potato, and I'm here to drop it like it's... Uh, well... Like it's a hot potato. It's like funky. It makes me think of somebody in their 40s or 50s. Like all good spuds, I'm smooth, creamy, and occasionally baked. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> Maybe it's like an actor. Hey, it's a good thing I'm a carbohydrate, because what I do, it's like a marathon. And man, do I need that energy. The accent's like American. He's not American, though, is he? Do you think so? Yo, stick with me. And I promise, this potato will lead you all the way to who I am. That's weird names. Characters or something. I hope you like your potatoes, devil. Because I'm no angel, but I'm one mighty sweet potato. Tonight, I'm gonna deliver a smash hit. What's your favorite filling in Jack Potato? Butter. in there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what a great start. I'm going to come to Mo first. Oh, that was fantastic. You mashed it up, my yeah. friend. <laughs> yes, please. Mashed it up. Come on. Come on. <laughs> He's back. He's back. you got beans in there. you got a, yeah. you got bar on your head. Oh, you look fantastic, man. Um, the first clue I've seen from the off, you said Jack. Jack and Potato. Mm. Um, we got the comedian Jack Whitehall. Yes. I thought it could possibly be him. OK, he did say dancehall, yeah? yeah? So I thought a dancehall artist, it could be Sean Paul. <laughs> and when you put the potato in the oven, it needs the light. Just give me the light. <laughs> Rita, what are you thinking? OK, let me chip in. Whoa. This is good. Oh, that was good. Oh, this okay. is good. First of all, I actually think he is American, personally. Oh, really? OK. Yeah. First time dipping it in. No. I, I, I do one potato joke, then ration yourself. Okay, right, right, right. He did say Angel, and then I thought Angel Heart, which is one of my favourite films. I feel like it might be Mickey Rourke. I'm just going to throw one more in there. Just because I see a lot of resemblance in this, I'm going to go with David Dickinson. What? 
OK, Jonathan, if you take that mask off and your face looks the same, then it's definitely Way Winston. <laughs> <laughs> Way Winston, it could be Way Winston. I was thinking you were holding Romeo and Juliet, which makes you think you're probably an actor. So I was thinking, who do I know who acts, who loves that kind of Vegas thing? I was thinking it could well be Shane Ritchie oh. in there. <laughs> but you know what? Some of the clues, he said he was smooth, creamy and baked. If you put together smooth and creamy and baked and you're thinking cooking, is there any chance, putting on a more masculine voice, that it could finally be Mary Perry? <laughs> <laughs> Davina, finally. Yes. I was looking at the wild hog dairy and I thought, what do you have on a jacket potato? Cheese. 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 Somebody who makes cheese. Alex James. Alex James. From Blur. From Blur. Okay. That's a, good, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. Okay, would you like some help, guys? I yes. Think we need some. Okay, it's time to play Riddle Me This. Jacket Potato is going to give us a clue in the form of a riddle. Find the answer, find the clue. Can we have your riddle, please, Jacket Potato? Hey, it's me, Jack. Jacket Potato. I've got quite the collection. So big, you'll say, whoa. So this is someone who's won some awards. He's must Definitely. have done something like really collection. established. Maybe he's just someone who collects. He's got a big collection of things. Collection can... of cheeses. <laughs> so you sort of say with Alex James, has it helped? Have you made sense of it? He's got a lot of songs. Dance hall is Sean Paul. That's who it is. <laughs> have the panel been foiled again? We'll only know when the mask comes off. Let's hear it for Jacket Potato, everybody. <laughs> Are the panel's guesses sweet or need more time to bake? Who do you think's behind the mask? Have the panel's brains turned to mash? I won't be spilling the beans on my identity anytime soon. Time, it was Viva Las Hot Potatoes. Jack Whitehall. Mickey Rourke. He's Shane Ritchie. Alex James. Alex James. I found myself in the bottom three, but this potato has thick skin. We would like to save Jacket Potato. And I'll be back at the top of the menu in no time. Woo! Hey, I'm back. It's me, Jack. Jack Potato. Oh, girls kissing, what? Mwah. Maybe someone from Kiss. You might think jacket potatoes are tough skin, but me, I've always prided myself on being able to express a whole host of emotions. That could be the secret to my success. But the universe also has to play its part, right? Well, he must be very successful talk show host. And I've certainly had auditions that could have seen me take very different roles. Could have been a piano player, could have been a doctor. Oh, doctor Who. I might be a simple potato, but some mega famous people have looked to me to make them look good. The accent is all over the place. It could be in America. Tonight, get ready to be buttered up as this hot potato takes the stage. David played to please the Lord. You don't really care for music, do you? Wow. wow. That's really good. Very really nice. Gold like this, the fourth, the fifth. Minor chord, the major lift. The battle king
smoke i think we put them in the oven slightly too long <laughs> rita do you want to go first jacket that was chris oh, oh that's a good one. okay yes thank you so much wow, rita first. can i get a spud yeah, <laughs> wow 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 that was unbelievable so many versions of that song and it's just so nice to hear it in this this way i've never heard it that way before you know it would be weird if you'd heard a jacket potato sing that before to be honest <laughs> don't try and bottom me up now because oh so that was one that was one what's happened that was one what's, what's happened going on? <laughs> she's on fire i'll be honest i don't think she knew that she did that one <laughs> OK, so I was thinking maybe we're missing the obvious clue. Maybe he's a chef. I did think maybe it's the Italian guy, because I felt like the accent is so strong, I'm wondering if it might not be real. And what's his name? Gino? Gino? Yeah, Gino, Gino De Campo. I thought that. Gino De Campo. I'll jump in, cos I, I love that performance as well. And you know what? You did surprise me with the vocals, cos you showed off a lot more power and range and scope there than you did the first time you performed. And in the clue package, the stethoscope may think, is it someone who's a doctor? The keyboard, is it someone who plays keyboards? Well, doctors aren't just medical doctors. You have doctors of the sciences. And if it was someone who maybe knows about the stars, someone who does know about the stars and also used to play keyboard in a band with a hit record... Oh, yeah! So I'm gonna guess maybe it's Brian Cox in there. Oh, OK. That's a Brian Cox. Yeah. Davina, what are you thinking? I could detect, like you said, maybe a disguise of the accent, and I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if it was Ken Jung? Oh. Ken yeah. Jung is a doctor. Yes. What? As well. Yes, he is, you're right. Mo. I really did enjoy that. That was a really good performance. Mm -hmm. It was good to see you have uh, a lot more vocal range as well. But this was a clue. I seen a disco ball, right? And then this is really good range, and you haven't really peaked yet. And I think possibly it could be Michael Ball. It could be Michael oh, Ball. That's good. Okay. Let's play one last game of clue or false. Jack and Potato, can we have your first clue, please? Yeah, I'm Jack. Jack Potato. Rumor is, I'm a real pussycat. Oh, interesting. Second clue, please. It's me, Jack. Jack and Potato. Rumor is, I'm a real sellout in England. Audience, do you think clue one is true? Do you think clue two is true? Give me a shout. That yeah. lot of people think it's the sellout the one, sellout. the England sellout. Which one do you think is true? One or two? I'm going to go with one. When someone says you're a real pussycat, it means you're a gentle person, doesn't it? Ooh, Ray Winston, you know, he plays yes, such a tough guy. Yes, he plays guy, tough guys, but he is but a pussycat. But he's actually a pussycat it underneath It could be it. Ray Winston, I big way. Oh, OK, who's the filling in this spud? We'll only know when the mask comes off. Let's hear it for Jacket Potato, everybody. <laughs> Potato's a tough one. Really tough. I love it when they're difficult. Watch me now! Have the panel worked out who's inside the jacket? Or should they get their coats? Who do you think's behind the mask? Is the saying a potato a day keeps the doctor away? <laughs> I think it's fair to say I've got the pan of foil. <laughs> Next, it's Jacket Potato! <laughs> Oh! I got bad. 
Potato. So good, so, so good. Last time, this potato was smooth like butter. The panel were frying their best to get me. The way wins a big way. Michael Ball. Can Jung. They're colder than a potato salad. Now say it with me, it's me, Jack, Jacket Potato. They keep saying Jack. It feels like their name is Jack. You, know, you can find potatoes in practically every country on this planet. You might be 50. They're halfway there. It's going to be 50% of something. And even though they're a humble vegetable, everyone all over the world knows them. Now, we might not speak the same language, but being a potato means you can still communicate. Trust me, that's pretty special, right? Out of order. Maybe he, like, communicates through other things. I'm saying it's the phrase out of order. Yeah, I'm wrapped in foil, and I know what it's like to be the foil. But will I foil you? Tonight, I'm baking business. Just fry and stop me. Get it? Let it? Just for 
an amazing performance. Really good. <laughs> and you know what? You just grabbed my bum and I enjoyed it. <laughs> I did. I, was, I thought that was what just Very happened, much but that was it. kind of crazy. <laughs> So I saw fundraising and I thought, a bit like you, Mo, we were yep. talking about comic relief. And then the thing that really stuck with me was I know what it's like to be the foil and a foil is a sidekick. And I thought somebody like Aid Edmondson, <laughs> because he used to do all of that work with Rick Mail. Mo, I'm going to come to you next. Oh, I love that song, man. I feel like I was in a Nando's toilet, just vibes in. <laughs> um, <laughs> but with the clues, Bates got mentioned a lot. I thought of Bake Off and someone who can sing as well. I thought possibly it could be Matt Lucas. Yeah, and he had that single about potato, didn't he? Yes, he yeah. did. Rita, what are you thinking? The song didn't give me anything. Like, I didn't get any clues from that song. And I was like, why? But at the same time, there's been a lot of life lived in that voice. Could it be someone that's also in a band that is also a huge movie star? Jack Black. Oh. And you keep saying, Jack, my name's Jack, my name's Jack. And I'm like, OK, your name's Jack. Surely that would be too obvious. Sometimes it is that obvious. Jonathan Ross. Looking at the clues tonight, it was at the 50% mark on that fundraiser. So I'm thinking half of a famous duo, double act or couple. And another clue there was he was trying to turn on the tap and he couldn't. Half of one of the most famous couples in the world had a very big hit single with Walk on Water. I think it might be Ozzy Osbourne. That's who I think it could be. Oh, wow. And Ozzy's got a son, Jack, so maybe that's a link as well. Oh, um, yeah. OK, well, who's our spud? We'll only spill the beans when the mask comes off. Give it up for Jack and Potato, everyone. <laughs> this hot potato's playing it cool, but are the panel getting warmer? Who do you think's behind the mask? Hey, there's only room for one Jack in this competition, and that's Jack Potato. Matt Lucas. Jack Black. Ozzy Osbourne. The panel's guesses are still all over the place. Forget about it. He's got a very husky, husky voice. Let me tell you about a potato called Jack. Another Jack clue. Yes, me, Jack. Jack and potato. I ain't no angel. I've been around the block. It's like going back and forth. It's like a DJ. That is a Craig David song. I've forgotten more than you know. <laughs> the bullseye or maze. I'm always telling tales, sort of, but that is what you know me for the most. Motorbike. And my stories have a special way of becoming other people's stories. Songwriter. Polish. Repair shop. I got very special recognition for my tale. And that meant a lot to me. But there's also nothing like seeing 80,000 people in one place enjoying your words. Now that is a great feeling. He must have sold out some big arenas. Tonight, I'm gonna be potatotally awesome. Oh, what? What? He's got a guitar. He's actually gonna play. The 
loving you isn't the right thing to do. Listen! How can I ever change things that I feel? A masked singer, world first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Davina, I'll come to you first. That was epic. I mean, the energy that you were giving off, it was Loved so it. electrifying. You are an amazingly accomplished musician. So good. I was listening to the tone of your voice and I thought, what about Elvis Costello? Elvis Costello. He wears glasses. He's such a huge performer. Also, the stories become other people's stories. Songs that he's written have been performed by hundreds of artists around the world. I like that. Mo, I'm going to come to you next. Oh, that was so fun, man. And I love guitar music. And I've noticed he's got the glasses, kind of like funny and stuff. And I don't know if he can play guitar, but I thought possibly Vic Reeves. Vic Reeves can play guitar. Can play yeah. guitar. Oh my God. Well, then I'm going for Vic Reeves. Yeah. Vic Reeves. <laughs> Love that. Rita. This person was always playing in my household growing up. He also is an amazing guitar player himself and an amazing songwriter. Overall, just legend. I'm going to say Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton? Yeah. <laughs> Dressing as a potato. You don't know. <laughs> Stephen, who do you think it is? I'm going to put my neck on the line here. Ooh. Sean Williamson, right? Who played Barry in EastEnders. He can sing. He can play. He also writes. Yes. Jonathan, I was thinking, this is quite strange, someone who was in a punk band who mm. started off as the bass player and then became the guitarist. I don't know if he can sing as well as you. It could be Captain Sensible oh. from The Damned. I would yeah. love that. I'll be honest with you. I think of all the people in this conversation now, you're the person that I have the least clue yeah. who you are. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of clues, can we get one? Yes, we can, I love Rita. The clues. Lever it to me, Mo. Here we go. Oh. Your clue is a yolk. Huh? Backwards, that is clue. So Jack and Potato is going to give you a clue, but in reverse. Okay. Take it away, Jack. I am Eric Clapton. Yay! Three, e, one. one. It could be Craig, Craig David. David. It could be Craig David. I hope it is. Have the battle absolutely mashed it. We'll only know when the mask comes off. Give it up for Jacket Potato. I love Jacket Potato. Have any of the panel been Captain Sensible and guessed Jacket Potato's identity? Who do you think's behind the mask? The panel are really going their own way with those guesses. Their brains must be all mashed up. Performance, I rocked out. Eric Clapton, Elvis 
Elvis Costello. Vic Reeves, Captain Sensible. Go your own way! The panel never gets the potato under this jacket. Hey, it's the semi-final! And I'm still here! Yes, me, Jack. Jack Potato. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back. The snake! No I'm a celeb. So, stick a fork in me! Cause I'm done. A lot of cooking clues. What's that for mama? See? I told you I was one hot potato. That's because potatoes are always the perfect pairing to most dishes. Pairing. Someone in the double act, maybe. And I know all about the perfect partnership. Tonight, I'm going to give you my crispiest performance yet. You know I've done wrong. Now my heart's gone. That's what devil do. I took it so low. Where the fools go. The devil and you. Who is the person? Now I'm rising from the ground. Rising up to you. But with all the strength I found, there's nothing I can do. Okay, Davina. Uh, it was amazing. You sound so gravelly, and you mentioned pairing and the clues and a partnership, and it's literally just come to me. Bon Jovi. Oh. Maybe it's Richie Sambora. Right, yeah. It's Richie Sambora. That's a, he can't be. Richie Sambora's a multi billionaire. He'll be sitting on his private, <laughs> yeah, on his <laughs> private island reading his private emails. He won't be here. He might as well be Keith Richards. He <laughs> <laughs> could be Slash. It could be Jack D. He plays the guitar. <laughs> well, that's what I'm going with. OK, Rita, what are you thinking? You are a true legend under there, whoever that is. <laughs> you can keep going like this with your mouth. Yeah. Someone who's got a really iconic mouth and has a really raspy voice, Steven Tyler. I think he can play the guitar, but, you know, maybe it's his partner, Joe Perry. <laughs> Thank Mo, you. what are you thinking? Um, I see one of the clues was a perfect duo. Um, I don't think you're a rock star, though. You got Ooh. a rock star vibe about you, but I think you could be Vic Reeves. That's you're thinking comedian. And he Vic Reeves has an incredible right? voice. He does play guitar. Peter, oh, I'm a big fan of this potato. <laughs> Huge fan. It's nice because I've got this one. <gasps> what? Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just know. I, I know I've got it. Thermometer was obviously a reference to being a, a chef. Partnership was the partnership he has with someone on a Sunday. It's on Sunday oh. brunch with Tim Lovejoy, and it's Simon Rimmer. Oh. Oh. Simon Rimmer. Oh. 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 Do you need another clue? Yeah. Yes. yes. OK. It's time for your next clue lundrum. Fingers on buzzer. Oh. Oh. Um, oh, oh, really oh billions. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this works for Richie. 
billions of downloads of their songs and their yeah. music. Simon Rimmer's made billions of dishes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you'll only see who's inside when we say laters, taters. Give it up for Jack and Potato. <laughs> Are the panel getting hot under the jacket with their rock star guesses? Who do you think's behind the mask? My potatoes are tingling with excitement. I want to sing for you all again. That means Rhino and Jack and Potato, one of you will be performing for a place in the grand final and the other will be unmasked immediately. <gasps> the masked singer keeping their place in the competition is... Which means, Jack and Potato, you will be unmasked. Well, congratulations to the rest of you. You're still in with a chance of seeing next week's grand final. Well done. Head off down the tunnels, my friends. <laughs> Everyone give it up for Jack and Potato. I'm sorry to say your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end and in just a matter of moments you'll be revealing your true identity. But first, panel, who do you think it is? Mo, I'll come to you first. I think you're Vic Reeves. I think you're Vic Reeves. OK, Vic Reeves. Give him a call. I think you're Richard Sambora. Richard Sambora. OK. Peter Crab. I said Simon Rimmer, but I'm going to go with Gino De Campo. Yeah, I like it. Rita. Um, I'm going to go with Joe Perry from Aerosmith. OK. Good shout. Jonathan Ross. I genuinely don't know you are. I'm going to go back to one of my earlier guesses. I think it's from the damned. I think it's Captain Sensible. I like that a lot. Well, there's only one way to get to the bottom of this. Potato, who's behind the mask? Take, Take it, it off. off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. I can't believe wow. it's you. That is too and much. And they laughed at you. They I did laugh. Goosebumps. I don't care about any of that. It's like rich stuff. I know. I can't it's believe it. it. Hot potato, baby. Hot yeah. potato. <laughs> this outfit actually looks great on you, man. Yeah, this is what I wear to go shopping, like grocery <laughs> shopping. <laughs> there was, like, loads of clues. There was lots of lyrics. There was loads of song titles. There was a, a target. There was, like, shot through the heart. There was a 50% <gasps> thing, which is, like, halfway there. Oh, my We're gosh. Oh, there. Oh, there. oh, of course. Can you tell me all those numbers, the Celsius, Fahrenheit? 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit? Maybe the crappiest album name of all time. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it is? It's the melting point of rock. Oh, oh that's good! Oh. 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 Richie, another one, because you were by a water slide, and that would be slippery when wet. Yes, oh. that was the clue. Oh, that was a much better record. <laughs> <laughs> what, you mean, you're used to singing in arenas and things. What was it like singing in a potato? <laughs> <laughs> It took a little getting used to, you know. Yeah. Uh, but once I put it on now, yeah. that was it. It's a wild reality yeah. when you do this show. Yeah. It's a gas. Everybody has treated me so good here. I've had so much fun with you, man. Me too. I've had a ball, man. I really have. It's been a lot of fun. You figure we fool some people, you know. <laughs> Honestly, it's just been a pleasure to have such a legend on the show. Oh, please, man. Give it up for Richie Sambora, everyone. <laughs> You've been sensational singing for us one final Hello. time. Unmasked at last. It's Richie Sambora. You know I've done wrong. Now my heart's gone. That's what devil do. I took your soul off. Where the fools go. The devil and you. Yes. Wow. Now I'm rising from the ground Nothing to do
Richie Sambora. After the break, Jellyfish, Fawn, Phoenix and Rhino will sing for a play. Hey. <laughs>